Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is your boy, Rich, and I'm here with a very special guest. We're here with Dylan. How are you doing today, Dylan? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. We've been talking about a very interesting topic, okay? So what was the first stock that you ever bought? So the first stock I ever bought was ACB myself. Okay, so there's an article. It says, a cannabis producer just popped Apple as the favorite stock among millennials. And that stock happens to be Aurora Cannabis. What do you think? Why do you think that millennials love Aurora Cannabis so much? Like, do you actually think that Aurora Cannabis has the potential to go up more than Apple? So, I mean, from my perspective, and I think a lot of kids, a lot of kids see the valuation in the cannabis market and they see it as a growing exponentially thing. I mean, a lot of kids do it. A lot of, a lot of people participate in it. It's like a recreational activity. And so like, I think a lot of people see the market for it even as a recreational activity, but like not like not even regarding the medical market for it, which is which is exponential. And I think a lot of people are viewing that as kind of like because like technology is like already a wave. I mean, like it's already been done. I mean, it's going to keep growing. But I think like the next thing to boom up really is the cannabis industry. And when you look at like the bigger picture, I mean, the first thing you Google, I mean, Aurora Cannabis is going to be in an article like and there's a lot of speculation on it, like both both sides. But I think a lot of people with my, like, in my, like everything, I think people that, I think people are very, they like, like, the volatility of it. They like the, the fact that people are, like, not outright saying, like, oh, it's fantastic. It's this. I mean, there's also bad, but they see, like, the growth in it. They see that, like, oh, yeah, this is a somewhat risky investment, but they see, like, the exponential growth that this company is, is able, to, able to keep up with because they're a company that's very acquisition heavy. And, I mean, just as like a, re a regular follower, someone that doesn't like understand or someone that is like very new to the situation, I mean, people are going to see the fact like, oh, they bought this people, they bought this, they bought that. You know what I mean? They're going to see that as, wow, I mean, this is a company that's really like capitalizing on the global market and they could really like exponentially increase something like Apple. They're going to turn something that's like an idea into like a multi-million dollar everything and they're going to run the show. Very good. Now, why... Aurora though, why not Afria? Why not Canopy Growth Corp? Why Aurora? Why do you think it's Aurora? Why is Aurora the number one? I mean, from the second I even laid my eyes on it, I felt like I felt like that always had something like special to it because I feel like with a lot of the other things, it was more like positive and like Aurora. I feel like people are kind of like trying to like shrug it away, like it could be, but it's not going to be. And I remember I read a lot of articles that were like, well, it could be, you know, like it is what it is, blah blah blah. But I, I like really look through it and I was like, and I think a lot of other people are going to look at it this way too. And I think it's like just the fact of like they, their, their revenues increasing like crazy and they're just like positioning themselves just so globally. They're, I mean, like, like I said, they're so acquisition heavy. I mean, they have a big stake in a lot of things. And so I think that they see that as something that could just keep growing and growing and growing. And like, I think that they think that that, and I think myself that it could become an empire one day. Like something like Apple has. I mean, like. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Now, is, is it the price? Because obviously, cannabis growth is at a much higher price. Yeah. Afria is pretty close. Is, is it the price that got your attention? Because so I, it's much yes. lower than cannabis growth, right? Yeah. So the price got my attention. And I like that it was lower because I feel like with the lower stock, it's like more opportunity for people to buy in more people, more people will realize the value in that. And even like, even that alone will bring it up. I mean, I think, I think that at a low price like that, that way it's even, it's even better for people that don't have a ton of money to put in the market. Because I mean, when you have like a lower amount of money, I mean, you're, you really tend to stay away from like the, the higher share that the uh, higher cost of shares. I mean, like you see like Tilray and all that stuff. I mean, like they're up to like 80 bucks, like they're up there. And I think a lot of people see like the affordability of it, which is, I mean, not an entirely wrong way to think about it, but I think they feel like they can load up on more shares and they can get a bigger stake in it. And I also think that going back to the fact that like there's a bunch of other ones like Afri is right there. And I think that that's kind of like, if you want to relate it back to the Apple analogy, I would say that it's similar to how like there's Apple and there's Microsoft and everything. I mean, I would say that there's very similar companies that are all going to do very successful, but and I think, honestly, I mean, you can have your fair share of it. I think that both of those companies are going to do extremely well. And it's, it's literally going to become like an Apple or Microsoft thing where it's like, pick your poison. I mean, you're going to do well either way. What about the fact that the influencers are talking about it a lot? I was the first person. 
I remember on YouTube talking about Aurora Cannabis, January 2017. It was under $2. Mm -hmm. And I remember making videos in 2017 when people didn't even know about Aurora Cannabis. Then you fast forward to 2018, there was, you know, about a handful of influencers talking about Aurora Cannabis. Now you fast forward to 2019, and there's a lot of people talking about Aurora Cannabis, uh, like me, on YouTube, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, different social media platforms. Do you think that that has an effect on why millennials like Aurora Cannabis so much? So, I, yeah, I definitely do think that has a big play on it because I feel like they see the publicity of it. They, they see like if it's being, I mean, a lot of people, especially if you're not like heavily involved with the market, reading a lot of articles, if you're not like all the way caught up with everything, if you see a stock that's constantly in the headlines, constantly being talked about, I think that you, that you kind of see that and you're like, wow, like, I mean that, that, and especially at that price too, like, it looks like, wow, that could be something that like turns into something awesome. That could definitely be something that like, it like, it starts off low, like kind of like how Apple did starts off low and now look at it. It's, it's, it's blossomed up to like a huge, a huge thing where, where people like were making like their retirements off it. And I think that definitely, definitely. What do you think? Like, I, I've been saying Aurora Cannabis for two years. I think it's going to go to $100 one day. What do you I, think I, is the potential for Aurora Cannabis one day? Do you see a $50 stock? Do you see a $100 stock? What do you see? Yeah, I, I see a $100 stock most definitely. I think that once they get their, their, uh, their share count cleaned up and they get all their ducks in a line, I think that they're a very valuable company that will kind of, I think that by doing that, they'll, be, they'll eliminate a lot of their volatility and it'll become more of a, uh, a settled company and more established, like kind of like an Apple. And they'll be traded with like, with that type of respect as well. And I think right now we're seeing a lot of volatility because they don't, they don't have that type of respect. People are not afraid to short them. I mean, they're just able to, I mean, people who know what they're doing are able to short them and abuse them in the market because they don't have everything that an established company would have just yet. They have the potential, just not just yet. And so I think that that, that leaves room for that. But I think that once that all gets out of the way, I think that we'll see an exponential growth, definitely. Okay, guys, I want to let you guys know something. Always do your own due diligence. Always do your own research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live, okay? I am not a licensed advisor. Dylan is not a licensed advisor. We are just average people trying to do above average things, okay? And we want to share the tools that we've learned how to use that can help us make money. But there's no guarantee that any of these stocks are going to keep going up or they're going to go down. We do not know, nor do we control the market, okay? But I'm going to tell you something, okay? Today I was listening to Bloomberg, and an analyst got on there, and he said, uh, a question came on, you know, what do you think about cannabis stocks? And the analyst said this. He said, cannabis stocks are overvalued, grossly overvalued. They actually asked him about Afria. He said, I can't wrap my head around Afria. I won't buy Afria because Afria is trading at a price to earning ratio that doesn't comprehend in my brain. So this is a big financial fund. Okay. So I want to make sure everybody understands this is a game. The cannabis stocks right now are trading at, at values that are uh, above the street. Okay. So the street average is about six to 15 times price to earning ratio. That's kind of standard for wall street and Bay street. Across North America. What's happening now with cannabis stocks, they've been trading as high as at some point when Tilray was at 300 and cannabis growth was at all time highs, they were trading at 250, 300 times price to earning ratios. That is not sustainable, okay, in any world, shape, or form. However, however, cannabis growth has acquired billions of dollars. Kronos Group has acquired billions of dollars. Aurora Cannabis is in 22 countries and will be making billions of dollars in revenue. This is why they're trading at these crazy fundamentals, which fundamentally right now can't be justified, but in the future will be justified. This is why they're trading so high, which creates, like you said, massive volatility. So you need to be very careful. That is why it's vital that we work together as a unit, that we really watch these stocks together. We support each other as a community and we find the bottoms. We hunt the bottoms and we really work as a community to say, okay, we're at 52 week lows. Now's the time to buy. Okay. We're at 52 week highs. Now's the time to sell and really learn how to make money 
during the patterns because there's patterns that are being created in this marketplace, which is literally a bubble. We're living within a bubble. Yeah. And some of these stocks are going to go even higher and some of them are going to go lower because what's happening is they can't justify their price to earning ratios. So that's why you're seeing companies like Abatis that are having issues with the regulatory body here in Canada. Abatis went all the way down to six cents and now they're having issues with the regulatory body. You're going to see examples of companies that will fail. And then you're going to see some companies like Tilray that shoot out the gate and they never come back down to earth because they're in the right place at the right time and they've got a license to work in America and they're going to be a monster. So that's why they're trading so high and they have a very tight float and they don't have a lot of shares in the marketplace, which is crazy getting massive dilution, which is forcing the price up. This is what you're going to see. And this is why it's so vital that we have a community like we have here, Dylan, where we can work together to identify the share structure, really, learn about the management team, learning about their revenues, reading their balance sheets, learning to see which ones are really profitable, which ones are generating, you know, a high price to earning ratio, which ones are trading at reasonable price to earning ratios, learning how to read their balance sheet and see how much companies debt ratio are and how much revenue they have in conjunction to their debt ratio. These are all things that we have to get better at as a unit, as a community. I believe we are getting better. And we will continue to get better. And if we continue to look for companies like Aurora Cannabis, and all the millennials are investing in buying Aurora Cannabis, and we can find the bottoms. Like right before I went on my trip, I bought it at $7. I just knew it was the bottom. Because I've been watching the stock for two years, man. So I kind of knew, yeah, it's not the bottom, but it's going to go up. And I was gone for 30 days. I put in $3,500, bought 500 shares. And I came back 30 days later, sold yesterday at 1077, pulled out $1,900 on a $3,500 investment. Now all of a sudden I've got $5,400 to play with. And I'm going to look for my next position in the next stock. I can teach anyone how to do this. You can teach anyone how to do this. Absolutely. If you're patient and we buy red and sell green, we can win. Anybody can do this. And obviously millennials are starting to do it. They're buying more Aurora than they're buying Apple. It's crazy. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I, I think that it, I think that's awesome that we're seeing that, especially with millennials, I think that a lot of people are, are realizing the true value in the stock market and like just as a whole are, are like kind of realizing that it's a great way to make some extra income. And it's, and it's, it's also like something to get involved with. It's just something that to get up every morning and be like, Ooh, it's going to be a good day in the market. So I think that, that and that alone, I think that that's an awesome thing that we're starting to see an increase in people investing and kind of keeping their eyes open to the stock market and just getting involved. So I think that that's a great thing alone. Well, you know what? We've been uh, talking for some time now. So we're going to get back to uh, doing more research because this is all about the research people. Okay. So Dylan, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate your insight on why millennials and why young investors are interested in Aurora Cannabis. I hope that you have more success with all of your trading moving forward. Let's do more videos. Let's continue to talk. Let's educate the youth about the importance of investing, learning how to build equity in themselves, learning how to invest in good long-term companies, and learning that, hey, you know what? We're in a wave right now in the cannabis sector, and if you make some good decisions, you can make a lot of money. Absolutely. And with that money, you can have freedom so that you too can go and travel to places like the Dominican Republic or wherever you want to go and travel with your friends and your loved ones. Absolutely. I think that it, it's great. It'll definitely transform your life if you do it right. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich, with Dylan. And we're out. Peace.